So hello and welcome to the Computer Lab. And in this short video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Anchor Media Hub. Its full title is Power Expand Direct 7-in-2 USB-C PD Media Hub. Model number is A837. And it's compatible with the devices that you can see on the screen now. I use it with my MacBook Pro 16-inch. It's the 2019 model. So if that's something you're interested in, then please do carry on watching. So before we get started on the unboxing and the review, just for a full clarification, I'm not sponsored by Anchor in any way. This has been purchased in full uh, through Amazon, I think it was, for my personal and business use. If I do get round to any uh, links in the description, they will be affiliate links, which basically means I get a small kickback from Amazon if you purchase through the link. So let's get into the video. So I've got it out of the box. And what do you get in the box? You get this small sort of suede material uh, USB hub bag, which... Uh, I presume it's just to keep dust off and stuff like that if you've got it in your laptop bag or rucksack or something like that. And it has small, two small pockets on the front. One of them is sewn shut, but one of them is uh, open. So you can put sort of a USB cable or some other spare cables down the side of that. Um, so it's a nice little touch. It comes in handy and just protects it, I suppose, from getting scratched. And next up is the sort of standard affair, which you get the uh, small manual and a little customer care uh, leaflet in there. Uh, it's all different languages in the booklet. Uh, there is English one on the left-hand side. And any time where there's small text like this, I will just blow it up and put it on the screen. So you'll have to pause the video if you just want to read it in any detail. So I suppose if you're looking for any of the different speeds the different ports offer, then the leaflet is where you go to first. Um, with that being said, let's have a look at the media Anchor Media Hub itself. And I'll put another um, screen grab along the top with the different ports on it. It connects to the MacBook um, via these two USB-Cs I'm just indicating here. And it can go on the left or the right hand side. It looks better on the left because it has the Anchor badge on it. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at this from left to right. So you've got the USB-C3 port and you'll notice one of the things that this port can do is to stream video resolution at 5k at 60 hertz um, and the other thing also it has a hdmi on the end of the hub which i'll just spin around on the video in a second and show you but you've got the two usb a's another usb c and a, an sd3 and a micro sd card slot and as well as the power led on the end um, and you can see that i'm indicating there the hdmi so the hdmi is right on the end of the actual uh, media hub itself so that basically means you can connect it up to multiple screens whilst you have it connected to your MacBook. So in theory, you could have your MacBook screen and two other screens connected to this media hub. So all in all, it's a good variation of ports on this Anchor Media Hub. The only one I'd say was missing is a Ethernet port. Uh, but if you're just using your laptop with Wi-Fi, uh, that's no great shakes. And you can buy a separate dongle for Ethernet if you want to do. So one of the main things I use mine for is transferring stuff off cameras, so off the GoPro and also off a Canon M50 SD card. So the transfer speed is really important from them from the SD card slot on the Media Hub to the actual MacBook. So I'll just show it getting connected up to the MacBook Pro. You can see they have the two USB-Cs and your or Thunderbolt 3 uh, type connectors and they just click into the side of the MacBook. And once it's connected, it is quite flush. It sort of sits flush or level with the top of the uh, keyboard. And also when it's closed, um, it doesn't uh, foul on the screen or anything like that. So it uh, it is well made and well engineered in that way. So quite a nice looking thing when it's connected. Don't get me wrong, it's sat off the side of your MacBook, but um, that all being said, I suppose it's as good as you're gonna get if you don't get a, a dongle. I'm just gonna zoom in um, on the actual LED if I can just get the camera on it. And you can see there, once you get it connected, you get this small white light on the far left on the side. And that's just showing that the power is being transferred to the media hub and also that you can pass the power through that end connector uh, to keep the MacBook charging while you've got the um, Anchor Media Hub connected. You can also pop the SD card slots in like so. And you can also connect, like I said earlier, a HDMI onto the end of the Media Hub. And that just clicks in like so as well if you're using another screen. So obviously you can plug lots of different things in, USB-A as well, and also USB-C devices. Uh, but I think, the, like I said, the one thing we'll look at, I'll just do um, a file transfer with the, this uh, card that I have in my GoPro. So this is a SanDisk Extreme. Uh, it's 128 gig. Uh, gigabytes in size and we'll just see what we've got on there i think i might have a four gigabyte file on there that i can show you transferring across so it just clicks in like you would expect to normally so the same as with the gopro they just click into the actual hub itself you just give it a push and it clicks in 
and then we'll bring it up on the screen and I'll show you the file I'm transferring. So let's just get into the actual, like I said, it's out of a GoPro this. Um, so this is the footage we have. And then there's a four gig file somewhere, if I can just find it, I think it's near the top. Uh, and these are the pre-roll footage for this particular video actually. Um, but there we have, that's the four gig one. And all I'll do is drag it onto the desktop uh, and we'll put a stopwatch on and see how long it takes to transfer the files across. So let's drag it across and let's see how long it takes. And I think I did, uh, I think it was over a, um, a 10 or a 12 gigabyte file the other day. Uh, and that took about, I think it was just over a minute to transfer from the SD card onto my MacBook. So I was quite impressed with that because I used to have a Surface Pro that had a sort of cheap media a uh, hub like this connected to it and it used to take forever to transfer files across uh, and since I've been using this with the MacBook um, it's just in a different league altogether and you can see on the screen there it's what three quarters of the way through this four gigabyte file so it looks like it's probably going to take it about 40 seconds to actually do the transfer uh, and we're nearly there so it gives you an idea um, of how long it takes so 41 seconds to do four gig from your SD card using this media hub uh, through onto your MacBook. So overall, uh, a nice, fast and efficient uh, media hub that goes well with the MacBook. So that is it, that's the end of the video and that's the end of my review for the Anchor Power Expand uh, media hub for the MacBook. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do subscribe to my channel. Please do hit the bell icon to be alerted to any new videos I produce. And please do hit me with any comments below. They are always appreciated. And thanks again for watching the Computer Lab on YouTube.